Nicola Sturgeon's dream of independence was crushed after the Supreme Court ruling. Poor Nicola Sturgeon, the SNP's plans for a second independence referendum were foiled by a Supreme Court ruling, Lord Sumption revealed. Scotland's first minister announced plans on Tuesday for a second referendum to be held on Scottish independence next October, vowing to take legal action to ensure a vote if the British government tries to stop it. Miss Sturgeon spoke as the Scottish government, led by her pro-independence Scottish National Party, unveiled a referendum bill outlining plans for a secession vote to take place on 19 October. 2023. She also said she would write to British Prime Minister Boris Johnson to get permission to hold a consultative referendum, but planned to lobby to get legal authority if he tried to stop her. What I am not willing to do, which I will never do, is allow Scottish democracy to be a prisoner of Boris Johnson or any Prime Minister. However, according to Lord Sumption, the First Minister's duties were circumvented by a Supreme Court ruling that Ms Sturgeon's government could not legislate in a way that would put pressure on the government of the kingdom. You on a reserved matter. The High Court has ruled that the two bills passed by the MSP are inconsistent with the Scotland Act as the basis for the decentralisation. Ms Sturgeon said the legitimacy of a referendum without the UK government's permission had been disputed, and so she asked Lord Advocate, Scotland's senior law officer, to turn the question over. To the Supreme Court of Great Britain. The highest court said that once a referral is sent to its president, he will decide if there are any preliminary issues that need to be resolved and when the case will be heard. The court found that the Scottish Parliament could not hold a referendum on independence without the consent of the Prime Minister. Voters in Scotland, a country with a population of around 5.5 million, rejected independence in 2014. But Scotland's semi-autonomous government says Britain's departure from the European Union, which is largely ruled by a majority. Scotland objected, meaning the question had to be put back a second vote. Pro-independence parties won a majority in last year's election and Sturgeon, under pressure from some in his party, has promised to hold a vote by the end of 2023. Polls suggests a vote would be too close to call. Boris Johnson and his ruling Conservative Party, in opposition in Scotland, strongly oppose a referendum, saying the issue was resolved in 2014 when Scots voted against independence by 55% to 45%. Mr Johnson had previously refused to issue a Section 30 order, giving the Scottish Parliament the power to hold a referendum, and said earlier on Tuesday Britain's main priority was economic pressures. That the country is facing. His spokesman later reiterated that the government believes this is not the time to discuss a new referendum.